Hello, my name is Ashley Chapman and I'm the Vice President of Chapman's Ice Cream. Today we are going to be making salty caramel ice cream cake with pretzel crunch. I've got this nine inch spring form pan here and I put a little parchment disc in the bottom of it. Now our frozen yogurt has been tempering just for about 10 minutes. Now because there's so much caramel in this, we do have to work relatively quickly. The caramel melts a lot faster than the frozen yogurt. Okay, we're gonna take a large sheet of parchment paper, just work it in, give it a little bit of a push, carefully peel back the parchment paper, and there you go, our first layer is done. So we're gonna just take this down and we're gonna pop it back in the freezer. We are gonna take a metal bowl. We are gonna add our chocolate cookie crumbs. We're gonna put our lovely chocolate covered pretzels in. Now we have about 115 to 120 milliliters of butter. We're just gonna give it a quick mix. Now that our frozen yogurt has come back down to temperature, I am just gonna take that pretzel and cookie crust here, and I'm just gonna spoon it on. And then just with your hand, push it all the way to the outside. We're ready to pop this back in the freezer for it to set. Pull the two liter of caramel saucy yogurt out of the freezer. Now we have just a little bit left. We're gonna score the cardboard packaging. And the second cut, we're just gonna cut through the package here. So now we're just going to take it, slice this a bit down here. Now this is where it gets a little bit challenging. We're gonna take another piece of parchment paper on top. And we're gonna just take another cutting board here and just put our body's weight on it gently. So now we are gonna take this and we are gonna put it back in the freezer. We are gonna switch on to our presentation sauce. So first I've got a pot of hot water here and then we're just gonna put a uh, glass bowl on top. The well, first thing I'm gonna add is my caramel baking chips. Just move them around in the heat. Just a little drop of heavy cream. And then of course our dolce de leche. You would significantly more dolce de leche than caramel. And now we are gonna work it around. Now we are just gonna leave that off to the side on a very, very low heat. Now let's get back to our frozen yogurt. Now we're just gonna take our handy little blow torch here to warm up the sides. So now we're gonna unclasp here. For this recipe, we're actually gonna be plating this on a platter. Now we gotta put a little bit of cement on this just to make sure that our dessert does not move. It's gonna be just a little bit of dolce de leche sauce. Now we are just gonna get this flipped and we're going to take our blowtorch. That should be good. There we go. So now we're just gonna flip it again and place it right into the center of that platter. So now we're gonna pop this right into the freezer just to make sure it doesn't melt on us. Pull the caramel saucy yogurt out of the freezer. We're just gonna use a spring form cake pan like a cookie cutter. Pop that off. All right, place it directly on top. Now before you serve it, you use the pretzels. Nice little mound of them right there. So there it is. Using the Chapman's two liter saucy caramel frozen yogurt, we have made our saucy caramel frozen yogurt cake with pretzel crunch. Enjoy.